Good morning, you fantastic specimens of humanity. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. So today's Wednesday, 28th of August, and being a Wednesday, we have a few things to do today. Um, so Wednesday is bidding day. If you followed the updates previously, that means we can get onto our local housing uh, association and bid for up to three properties, if there are three available. Um, this is the fourth time I've done this now. Um, I've heard nothing back from the previous properties that I have bid on, um, so we'll give that a go today. I'm also going to ring them and see if we've got any news on this um, emergency housing letter uh, for band one. Again, last time I rang them I just got fobbed off, so we'll try that. A bit of bad news, unfortunately. Um, yesterday, my car, the Freelander 2, was booked in for MOT. And I had all fingers and toes crossed thinking it would pass because this car, believe it or not, in its lifetime um, has never failed an MOT. And it has now got 121,700 miles on the clock. Um, in my ownership, it has been serviced um, for the past two years. Well, actually, this will be the second year it gets serviced. Took it for MOT yesterday and I got a phone call saying, unfortunately, your uh, motor has failed. The failure was... Suspension arm pin or bush, excessively worn, near side and off side. Um, repair immediately, major defects. Which I think was a bit strange because last year it was absolutely fine and now it's gone to repair immediately. The car's going back in today to have the repair done, which is £255. And this is all thanks to you guys again, I'll explain in a minute. And that's on top of the MOT which was £54, so um, another 300 quid there. Well, 300 quid. But if it wasn't for your guys, absolutely fantastic, um, generous donations that you've been giving us over these past few weeks, um, this would not have been possible, and we would literally be up the creek without a paddle, because we do need the car now. We're so far out of our normal burrow. Um, the car is very, very necessary, so thank you to you guys again. And we're going to go and get that repaired today while I'm waiting, because I don't know how long this is going to take, and I will, I will be without a car. I'm going to grab a coffee down Ashton. Right, so ladies and gents, the car has now been dropped off at the garage and I uh, I wait to be stung by that massive building a bit. But while we're in our local town centre now, let's go and check out a few shops and especially the charity shops because who doesn't love a good rummage through other people's uh, trap? I do. Oh, Janine has been looking for a small iron for the caravan. That could be ideal. Fiver. Bit grubby. That'll probably clean up that. That'll probably go on the dining table as well. See? Always treating her. Love that. Right, so you guys have asked me to come back into Home Bargains and buy that pumpkin casserole dish for Janine. So this is another Home Bargains local to me. That's not it. Um, unlike they've got it in here, but oh, look, Christmas again. These masks are really, really cool. I'm all charity shopped out, so go and get a coffee in the market hall. Would you believe if I told you that this was one of the earliest market towns in history? Ashton Market dates back to like 1400s. You wouldn't think it, would you? Look at the state of it now. Video movie show. <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. Delicious. Yeah. Can I have a large coffee, please, pal? That's large coffee? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I actually wanted this to sit down in the shop, but um, I think she presumed I was taking it away. 
that's a little food court area now um, that's just been built in our local market some of the food there is absolutely awesome really nice so we are now going to enjoy the coffee and then got a few errands to do we're gonna to have to go to the lockup and look for janine's coat because that has gone disappearing we're going to go and check um b m's well, which is just center of screen see if we can't find one of them pumpkin casserole dishes in there waiting for janine to finish and then probably ikea to look for some storage boxes for her for the side of the bed so here is the halloween island Nothing strikes me as a uh, casserole dish. No. Mm. She'd love that though. Four pounds. New cushion for the settee. Oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> Tiffany's World. Preggers. Nice. It's like half of Ashton though. How cool would that be for the table? Mini pool. That is awesome. Oh, come on, these toys are absolutely awesome. Little whack a mole So, I am on my way currently down to the um, storage unit to have a look for Janine's coat, but I have actually just made a call to New Charter Housing. Um, she's checked my application and she's let me know it's, there's going to be a four week lead time basically before anything's done, but she has sent a message up to the team upstairs. Uh, to make our application urgent. I don't know what that means, but she says we could get a message or a phone call um, by email, text or phone. So just have to hold out for that. See if any, anything comes of it, but not hopeful. Well, last charity shop, guys, and I think I've just found the perfect thing for Janine to hang a few bits and store um, mobile phone and stuff on the side of the rack. This is a wire pet shelf, £1.50. Perfect. wasn't me, I paid for this. Oh, right, so, this is our worldly possessions, plus a few more waiting to come. That is our previous home, the canvas bell tent. Um, and we are looking for Janine's coat. Darling, I think you've looked out, I honestly, I've not seen it. Oh. I wonder if they'd fit somewhere in the car. Big airbed. No, it's not there. So what we will do is add my freebies in here. So we've got Uncle Buck, Equilibrium because it's an awesome flick, and Little Britain because you can't go wrong with a bit of Little Britain. But we don't need them yet, so they will go in there. But I will keep this <coughs> to surprise Janine and prove that I too can shop for bargains. <laughs> so the grand total of the repair and a service um, 373 pounds and 98 pence Why did they call it the joys of motoring? Because I didn't enjoy that one little bit. And uh, my bum started hurting as soon as I handed that card over. Oh well. Alright, well hopefully um, the car should be right for the next year. Found a few more bits going over it on the service. Uh, a bit of sweating from behind the engine. So nothing to worry about. And one of the... Um, one of the protective plates underneath the heat shield is corroded in two places. But it said that's um, that's fixable if it needs doing in the future. Um, and he'll be sure to bend me over and roger me for that as well. So looking forward to that one. Fantastic. She's going to be a happy girl. Hi darling. Hi baby. You're right. Yeah, we are. Hi. Good Have a good day at work? Um, yeah, it's okay. Have you had a good day? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Car all sorted. Let's not talk about the car. 
<laughs> I've been on a shopping adventure today. Have you? For you. For me? Yeah. Oh. So, close your eyes. Okay. And I'm going to show you the bargains I picked up for £6.50 today. What's just that? for you. Close your eyes, can't see. Okay. Ow! Close your eyes. <laughs> Go like look. Uh, right, so first one is um, this. Open the eyes. Oh, I actually really wanted one of these as well. Second hand, eh? previously Don't used, care. grubby, but salvageable. <laughs> yeah, you know, this can be taken off and washed anyway. I thought that. Oh, thank you so much. So now you can do I all the that. ironing. Oh, thank you. No, because I was doing some before, oh, wasn't I? She wasn't doing any, but okay. Oh, I like it. I love it. Thank you. I thought you. it would go on the table. And They're then... like about a tenner you know, in B and Ns. I was looking at them as well. Five pounds, you can hang it up as well. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Thank Hold you myself. so much. Oh, there's the price. Three quid. What? Uh. Bit odd. There's no bleeding price on that, three quid. I'm taking it back. It's for YMCA, I'm sure. Um, oh, thank you, darling. Oh, good, oh, good. Right, second one, close your eyes. Okay. I know you've been asking for, like, something to um, put your phone in and stuff like mm -hmm. that and maybe hang some up. So I got you this. Open your eyes. There you go. Oh, I love that. I thought ran next oh, to the toilet. Oh, that's on the wall. absolutely perfect. Thank you. That is absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. And genuine Aldi, one pound fifty. Oh, thank you. Thank you, baby. Oh, I've got you one more ultimate surprise. Ultimate. Yep. Close your eyes. I'll reach this. One minute. Open your eyes. <gasps> Did you actually? <laughs> you can oh, thank your awesome thank viewers for that. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I am so happy with that. <gasps> Many, many comments oh. and viewers said I should go and get it for you. I oh, actually you love it. that. Thank you so much. Now, the only reason mm, I got you that you. is because I know there is going to be something delicious and spooky in that for me for Halloween. Yeah, I mean, so I you'll have to look through some um, yeah. Thinking something pumpkin y. I actually love this. Thank you. And, it, and it's little. Perfect. Lady, cast iron, it weighs a ton. As in, I mean, I don't mean that. I mean, as in, it's little so it can be. Stored easy. Yeah. Oh. In the storage unit. Thank you so much. Right, my dad's waiting for us. Okay. Uh, don't know where we're going. I'll have to ring him. Okay. You happy? Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Good afternoon to all of our awesome friends and welcome back to the tiny caravan kitchen. So today we are baking a loaf of bread in the caravan. This is going to be a cheddar and sun-dried tomato bread mix and we're doing this in preparation for the brother-in-law and sister-in-law coming up to camp today and they're bringing a homemade soup so we're going to um, complement that with a caravan made bread. This should have been Janine's segment but she's in work today, today's a Friday, she don't finish while three so I want to get this bread done and ready for um, them turning up so let's crack on. So this is a relatively easy loaf to make and this is one of these mixes where you just add water so this will make 10 rolls or one loaf and all we need is the 500 grams rice bread mix and 320 ml of lukewarm water. So first of all we're going to get this kettle on, get some warm water on the go. So 
So hand baking, place bread mix in a bowl or food mixer, add water and mix together for five minutes to form a small ball of dough. And place the dough onto a floured surface, so we're going to have to keep some of this back. So we'll take a small amount. So we'll keep that and then add the flour into the bowl. So the missus swears blind she's got a jug somewhere and I cannot find it. So we're having to go uh, an alternate route and carefully measure. In fact, we don't want to put the full amount of water in, order because we've took some of that flour out. So we'll go with that. Hate this part. Oh, sugar. So the cast iron has been baking nicely in the uh, sun there. And it's already got a bit of oil in from when I last greased it up, so we'll just smear some of that around. And then we're putting the dough ball in there, waiting half an hour to 40 minutes for it to double in size. lid and we'll pull that back outside now in the sun. Right ladies and gents so we've got 15 minutes on the timer so in that time now we're going to get the coals going in the Winniewell smokeless fire pit um, and we're going to plonk the Dutch oven inside a couple of coals on top and give that about 40 minutes um, to see if we can bake a loaf. <laughs> bake a loaf. We're even scared then. Right, ladies and gents, so moment of truth. We've got steam or smoke coming from um, the gap in the lid now. This has been cooking for a little over 50 minutes because I wanted to warm it up with the coals first. Um, but we've got some mad heat coming off that now. And I've just been turning the lid um, every now and then. So that is very, very hot. So, moment of truth. <laughs> oh. Guys, I am. How about looking on the camera? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, yeah, so that definitely looks like a loaf. Um, could have done with it a bit more over here, but that looks as well like it hasn't stuck. So I believe now you stick a, um, a spike into it, and if that comes out dry. And it has done indeed, that is done. So I don't think we're greased. Oh. oh, it's moving. There we go. Right, traffic was absolutely hammered coming in. Was it? So I'm going to have to try and find a, 
different way back. It's very warm. But not complaining. I'm excited to have a drink tonight. Yes, so me and Janine are letting our hair down tonight. We're having a night off. I think we deserve it. Um, Janine's sister and brother, in my brother in law. <laughs> My sister and brother. Yeah. Just my sister and her husband. Uh, they've come up. And my babies. For a camp. So we're going to share a drink with them tonight. We'll share some of my delicious bread also. Just got some wine and beer and some gin. As you know, it's got to be done. What am I on? Eh. Madre. Right, babe, let's go party until it's nine o'clock and then we've got to be quiet. <laughs> So I do apologise, I did take your bread job today, but obviously was at work. I know, I was working when I uh, ran out of time yesterday. You've okay. not been on this video much, darling. Don't I know. What's going on with you? I've been working and doing and, you know. I think you need to apologise. Sorry. People won't stand for such insolence. <laughs> well. Okay, guys, so as you know, I've got my new pot, my pumpkin pot, um, which I'm very excited about, I'm very grateful for. Um, so if any uh, anybody's got any recipes or ideas what I can cook in it for the first time, let me know and put it in the comments. Any recipes? What for Halloween? Easy. It's got to be easy recipes, please. Um, but yeah, just for what, sorry. Halloween or just normal first just time no, cooking? Just normal first time cooking. Yeah, but I want some Halloween in it as well. Oh yeah, Halloween in, whichever. Shell and Allen should be set up by the time we get back. Fingers crossed. I'm so excited. I am so excited. And you just can't hide it. I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know you want to. I want to. Hello! <laughs> Here's Alan. <laughs> We're still on the boat. Smile, aren't it? This is a sleeping arrangement tonight, and our caravan's just at the back of them. Good times. Oh, that's same as ours. Well, freeway. Is it enough gas and electric or? Gas electric and twelve volt. Ah. Yeah, this has got the same fridge. Have you actually got a fridge? Yeah. Oh, get it on. Let's put some beers in. It takes about a week to cook cold. <laughs> Good morning ladies and gents and welcome back to day two of the family camp. So look at the state of the caravan. This is what happens when you let three women loose in your caravan. This was all tidy a minute ago by my hand and now we've got straighteners, about 50 bleeding sockets, makeup everywhere. We're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on a day out with the family. Off to Upper Mill today. We'll visit a few cake shops for a nice coffee and cake. Uh, it's a lovely day, so feel free to join us. Where well, they've just got nothing straight from there, yeah. Getting lost already. <laughs> well, we'll have to go and investigate that graveyard. Yeah, we will. Actually. We can have a walk around the graveyard at night, Halloween. Yeah, in our new matching pajamas. Piss off. <laughs> we will be arrested. <laughs> We are Upper Mill. Right, ladies and gents, so we're in the historic town of Upper Mill. Very, very old Victorian town. If you are from the States watching this, this may be of interest to you, so stick around. Oh, now this looks nice. Cafe Grand. You like darling? Okay. Oh, check that for a cappuccino. We're talking about. 
and uh, Janine's on the it's orange cake. <laughs> <laughs> Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> Clink, Al. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to get messy tonight. <laughs> so Janine is currently cooking tea, or part of it. How are we getting on, darling? Yeah, good. Let's have a look. Looking a bit flush good. there, darling. You had a bit, or is that me? I'm pissed, <laughs> not you. <laughs> Ooh, what are we on? Uh, tuna pasta. Oh, another tuna pasta. Very nice. <laughs> Lucy's chilling <laughs> in the caravan. Chilling. As always. Killing me all the stories. Good, good, good. Oh, so, ladies and gents, this is tea time at camp. And uh, Alan, would you like to do the great review? Oh, kid out. That is carrot and coriander soup. Stephen's homemade bread. Homemade bread, cut by the lovely Ginny. And then we've got kids at the end waiting to be fed. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> and Heather, where's Heather? Oh, Heather. Yeah, yeah. Stephen, no. <laughs> She's running off. You remember Heather from such videos as the Bushcraft Initiation. And where the bloody hell she is. <laughs> Say hello, Hevlington. There she is. <laughs> Eee, buddy. Oh. Oh. That, that smells absolutely delicious. Now, trust us with a tablespoon of um, <clears throat> coconut. Oh, the coconut is really It's that well lovely taste, yeah. <laughs> Am I having it in a cup? You're having it in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're having uh, soups in a pop cup. We're having soups in a cup. Oh. Soup. <laughs> so you cup well, out. Puts a yeah. cup of soup. Puts only me into a cup of soup. Eat slower. I'll do this in the <laughs> 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 